What's up? MFGs are here, and as you can see, Art the Clown's with me. Eric MFG. Oh, she lost her hat. We are in total get, total, total get up here because we just saw Terrifier 3. And guess what? Art the Clown is back, and it's a Christmas movie. You can now watch this movie during Christmas because it's a Christmas movie. This was one of the movies I was looking forward to pretty much all year. Glad we finally saw it. Art's back. And let me just say, I guess people were walking out within the first 10 minutes. I didn't really think it was that bad. Other than, you know, blood and guts. What did you think? Same as always. Yeah. Look at this. She is in the getup. Anyway, so five years have passed since Terrifier 2. And Sienna, she's having a problem. She's... She, she has, needs medication. She needs medication. Crazy. Because, yeah, she is crazy. She's been in and out of mental ins institutions. Her brother, he's trying to, he's trying to make do by going to college, but she he's eventually. On drugs too. Yeah, he does take drugs to, to cope, and she gets out. Of, she gets out and she goes to live with her aunt and uncle. I guess it's her mom's sister. Um, but it's only a matter of time until Art comes back. And if you wonder how Art came back when he since he lost his head. Vicky, died. yeah, Vicky. Well, she she bore she gave birth to his head at the end of the second movie, and yeah, well, that's how his head came back, right right after they killed Chris Jericho. So sad. Chris Jericho died in like a minute. So, but yeah, Art, he's back during Christmas trying to track her down, along with Vicky. So, what do you think? What do you think of that? The movie. Yeah. I liked it more than the, not, mm, like, point one more than the second one, because the second one was good. Yeah, I I don't think it's as good as the second one. I will say, Clint Howard was in this. He was in the, the bar scene, was probably my favorite part of the entire movie. It was so funny. That's where Art gets his his Santa outfit. He gets it from a Santa Claus in Art a bar. Art was very funny in this movie. Yeah, Art, he, Art was definitely funny. A um, couple things I didn't like. I didn't really care for the... The cousin, the the daughter of, uh, yeah, she's she yeah, she was very annoying. What was her name? Gabs. She was so annoying. So um, I didn't really care for her that much. Another thing I thought, there was a lot of, there was a lot of just Sienna talking with her aunt and uncle. Um, that story it kind of dragged on a little bit. Like, uh, it's called terrifying, not yeah. Art the clown. There there was a. I think they could have cut out a lot of the. A, a lot of the the story with Sienna just trying to just trying to cope. Uh, it just seemed to just drag, and then Art would come back and everything would pick up again. Ending pretty awesome. Art funny, good kills. I don't think there's anything that made me sick, but there was a few a few parts where. You know, bones, bones and and limbs getting cut off. You said something. What? There's this dude, and you were like, "Ow!" Oh yeah, when his his leg, yeah, and and there was like this girl podcaster. She was super annoying. She art art gave gave to gave her what you know what she had coming to her. That was awesome. So, Sienna, good art, amazing. Maybe a little too much Vicky, but you kind of now you understand why Vicky's so important to the whole story. I was not aware of all of that. There's also more backstory with. Sienna and her dad. In possession. Yep, demons. And her dad created the character for her. I don't think they ever named a character, but it's is an angel warrior. Sienna. Yeah, I guess they should call her Sienna. And then the sword, the sword's back. So, Clint Howard, amazing. You probably couldn't tell he was in it. You probably don't even know who that is. I don't know. He was the guy with the beard. He was like, I have a, t I have a chimney. Yeah. This, this, this is a pretty funny movie. Art was definitely, definitely funny. I don't know why it's banned in France, though. It's not banned in France. It just has, uh, because it's so graphic, it, it had like an M18. Like Saw 3? Yeah, it's as bad as like Saw 3. Um, so, yeah, definitely recommend this. Worth the wait. Probably not as good as Terrifier 2. Terrifier 2 was amazing. Uh, Minus point one on Terrifier 2. Maybe. We'll have to watch it again. I think a cop just went by. So, Terrifier 3, I'm probably going to go maybe 8.5. 8.5 out of 10 for Terrifier 3 for me. 8.9. Mm -hmm. The second one's like a 10. 
Or is it? I don't know. I got to watch the second one again, but the second one's at least a nine. Love the second one, but I love art. Love art. That's why. Wait, wait. He is he's... the Michael Myers in Clowns. Yeah. Because he doesn't talk. I'm sorry about Chris Jericho. He's my hero. Fozzie. Anyway, eight and a half. She liked it a little more. Not as good as Terrifier 2, but definitely worth your time. It's October. Horror month. We're out of here. Art. MJ made me this. We're out of here. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, bro.